This next tool I want to show you is called the Shaper tool. So here I am on a Mac with a, a Wacom pen. And with the Shaper, just like the, the curvature tool, the, the point was to be able to do everything you need to do without having to switch back and forth between a variety of tools. The same thing with the Shaper tool. It allows you to draw just about any basic shape in Illustrator. It makes, lets you select and move, transform, and do Pathfinder operations all with one tool. You don't actually have to switch between individual tools to do that. Let me show you what I mean. So I've got the Shaper tool here. If I draw a circle, it has shape recognition and automatically converts that to a perfect circle for me, okay? If I draw an ellipse, I get an ellipse. If I draw close to a square, I get a square. If I draw a rectangle, I get a rectangle. If I draw a line, who thinks that's just an awesomer way to work? <laughs> Hashtag awesome. Hashtag shaper tool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but here's great. The tools, the, the, the shapes I created, they're all live shapes, which means they all have attributes that can be changed after you've drawn them. So for a circle and an ellipse, there's the little pie widget. So you can create a uh, ch chunk out an ed a wedge of that, turn it into a pie shape, or just turn it into an actual wedge, okay? Same thing with an ellipse. With a rectangle or any uh, shape that's got corners, you can round them, okay? And with the line, you can you know, change or extend the line, okay? Notice I haven't switched tools. I'm still in the shaper tool. So I can draw whatever shape I want. I can select the shape. I can click on it to select it. I can click on the center dot to move it. I get a nice alignment guides as I'm moving it around, and I can freely transform them as well, scale or rotate, and I don't have to change any tool. Who thinks that's cool so far? Okay, but wait, it gets crazy more. All right, again, with the shaper tool, if I wanna delete something, just scribble across it, okay? So it's not just for touch-based Windows machines. If you've got a Wacom tablet and a pen, the Shaper tool works really great for, on that scenario as well. But I've saved the best for last. With the Shaper tool, there's one more thing that's really cool. It's Live Pathfinder. How many of you have memorized what those Pathfinder icons do? Okay, the rest of you, every single time, hover. What does that one do again? Where's the tooltip? Right? <laughs> So with the Shape Builder tool, you're never gonna use the Pathfinder palette again. You won't need to. I'm gonna create a logo out of these basic shapes. These are just a, a set of rectangles and circles and ellipses all overlapping each other. I wanna get rid of this half of the circle. I'm just gonna scribble across it. I wanna get rid of that. I wanna merge these two. I wanna merge that. As I hover, I see the objects. Okay, I want to subtract that, I want to subtract that, subtract that, subtract that, merge that, subtract that. <gasps> How freaking cool is that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but wait! <laughs> there are the underlying objects that you use to make this compound shape, they're still there. It's live Pathfinder which means you still have access to the underlying shapes. So if I think the stem of that P is too big, I can just double tap on it. Hang on. Double tap on it to select it, and I can edit it. I still have access to the underlying shapes, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a fill of black, and there's my final logo. I'll get rid of the stroke. What tool was that again? The Shaper tool. <laughs> 